What's going on, YouTube? The Independent Stacker coming to you again tonight, May 7th, 2019. As of 10.15 Eastern Standard Time this evening, gold is up slightly at 1289.50. Silver is steady at 1504, giving us a ratio of 85.89. We have seen a lot of movement up and down over the last 48 hours, guys. The markets are a little scared, I believe, of what uh, we're seeing with the relations between the United States and China when it comes to tariffs. Uh, also, we've seen some civil unrest over in the Middle East and the Israel area. Uh, that's really scaring some investors, I think, and that's causing us to have some wild fluctuations up and down. Platinum is up very slightly at 876.50, but it has been on quite a ride the last two days. Palladium is down almost $40 at $13.38.90. I did just pick up my very first Palladium gram bar yesterday from Atmex. I ordered that in. I got locked in at around $13.42. So that price is going to continue to go down slightly, it looks like. Aluminum and copper are both down uh, quite a bit, relatively speaking. Rhodium improved $5 today at $28.90. Crude oil has been up and down the last two days, but it is currently uh, the same at $61.89 a barrel. Both the Dow Jones and the NASDAQ are currently down quite a bit uh, the Dow Jones is at 25,96805. We had a huge hit today. Trading opened down almost uh, 450 points yesterday morning, uh, right at the opening bell, uh, on the heels of the rumors that the relations uh, between the U.S. and China, uh, the tariffs were going to be going up. Uh, as well as the tariffs uh, announced for Mexico. Uh, those avocados and tomatoes that we get from, from Mexico are going up. It's going to cost a, a, a fortune. We're going to have to sell our snacks just to eat at Chipotle next week. The NASDAQ is also down quite a bit today. Uh, it saw a little bit of a hit yesterday, but a big hit today. Almost 150 points down today alone at 79.63. 76. We saw some gains and losses on the currency conversion. Euro's down to 1 119. The Canadian dollar is up at 1347. The British pound is down quite a bit at 1307. And the Aussie dollar gained a penny at 143. Tonight's big stacker shout out goes to David Carlisle. David is a man that all of us here in the stacking community knows. He's always joining us on our live streams. But quite honestly, if you go over to his channel, he's only got one video. David's got a nice video of him uh, riding out in the yard with his boy, sitting on his lap, driving around on a riding lawnmower. Doesn't have anything to do with uh, stacking, but you know what? Still a cool video. Love to see you adding some more content someday, David. But uh We'll keep running into you on those live streams. It's always a great time hanging out with you. For tonight's addition to my stack, we've got three more American Silver Eagles. These are 2016s. I picked up. These were, I believe, uh, $18 a piece I got these for. Uh, they were an oversized flip, so I'm not really sure why they were in flips that were so big but um yeah 18 a piece they're great shape uh i am gonna be adding these i've got several other 2016s i'm gonna be adding uh these two so i'll be working on a tube of, of 16s it looks like i tried out a new coin shop uh here in my town uh, uh this week and I was really happy with their selection. They had a really good section. It's actually a jewelry store uh, exchange um, that has a pretty good sizable uh, silver 
uh, showcase in there. So they had they had uh, lots of Silver Eagles. They actually had their Silver Eagles in trays divided by year. So that was really cool. I uh, really appreciated getting uh, getting that so I could pick what I needed. Uh, also, uh, they had one ounce bar. They had a ton of one ounce bars. They had five ounce bars. They had a couple 10 ounce bars. They had some big rounds in there. Uh, so, and then they had some gold. They didn't have all their gold sitting out, but uh, they're selling their 10th ounce American Gold Eagles for one. 45 so i feel like that's a pretty good price maybe add one of those to the stack here real soon hopefully so yeah so what do you guys think about uh the markets uh let me know down in the comments down below on what you guys are thinking are is driving our pricing right now up and down um you know like i said we've seen a lot of movement on this board here in the last uh last couple days what do you guys think? Is is it something that's uh, uh, happening happening economically worldwide that's causing this? Is there is it civil unrest in other parts of the nation or other parts of the world that you think are uh, causing these prices to fluctuate they, the way they are? Uh, I would love to know. So definitely let let's talk about it down here in the comments. That would be awesome. Always do appreciate interacting with you guys and getting uh, our collective knowledge together. Uh, Together, we can figure out all the world's problems, I think, guys. So, if you like tonight's video, go ahead and consider smashing that like button right over here. And, as always, right here, the subscribe button and the jingle jingle bell. The Independent Stacker is here once again to remind you that if the women don't find you handsome, they should at least find your pockets heavy.